Just gonna drink my tea until folks arrive. Maybe just set and setting just a little bit to bring you all closer is what I'm gonna do. Because you're far enough away as it is, right? In my screen. Make sure you can see the guitar from there. Yeah, you can. Good. Big mood. Big ears, big mood. That's right. <laughs> hey, I see two of y'all. Welcome. Joan and Zenbard. Welcome, my dears. Hmm. So I'm streaming today because my very first full-length release, I love you too, Starlet. Welcome in. Oh my gosh, there's 10 of y'all. <laughs> that was quick. Hi. Welcome. Welcome. I'm streaming today because my very first uh, full-length release turned 20 years old last Wednesday. This baby right here. Now, the uh, the first original print run of A Thousand had a different cover, and that's the dark, very dark photo cover that you'll see on most of the streaming services and here on the official YouTube playlist. If you have a copy that looks like that, you have been with me a long, long time. Y'all let me know if uh, you can see and hear okay. I have better internet here at home in the woods than I've ever had before. So hopefully, hopefully all is well. I see all those hearts flying up. Y'all are so sweet to me. Thank you. You are the entire reason that I have been doing it, this exact thing for 20 years as of just a couple days ago. Full time. Full time. No day job. I can't even express to you what a big deal that is. You have made my life. You have literally made my life. Okay, thank you, Dan Storm. Thank you, Kyle Dog. Everybody says uh, seeing and hearing just fine. So let's celebrate. I invite you all to get comfy. I'll be live here for about half an hour before my timer goes off and I have to put away all the breakable things before my um, my uh, little uh, little man comes home my sweet fox cub, my Jessie, my little jester. I'm drinking dryad tea in a dryad pottery cup today. I'm drinking La Serene, dryadtea.com. She's not my sponsor, but she keeps me from uh, being crabby every day. Mm. So she might as well be. I love you, Ruby. Um, yeah, and it says bard on it. Because truth in advertising is important, you know, if you're me. Mm. So yeah, I'm here streaming because my first CD, my first record, my first album turned 20 years old a few days ago. What? What? I recorded the whole thing on this guitar right here. This is Ravenna. She is my tailor. She was built in 1999. For those of you who are guitar nerds, uh, like me. Uh, she is a 615 CE Jumbo with the quilted maple back, which unfortunately you cannot see because I was too goth and had to have the black guitar. But we know that she's there. We know that the quilted maple is there. Dale and Rita, thank you for signing on to watch this today. I've got quite a breeze coming in from the front porch, so y'all let me know if that starts to mess with the sound and we'll figure out something else. I am going to sing some songs from that very record, Haphazard, today. But first, like I did on my Facebook stream yesterday, I wanted to read to you the back, uh, the, the paragraph that I wrote on the back. So this came out in 2004. May 27th, 2004 was my mother's birthday. And it was um, two days before my very last day at my very last day job. Because I decided I was going to go for it. 
I went for it and wouldn't you know it, y'all came with me. And some of you have been with me since then. And some of you are j jumped on board in your own time, but whenever it happened, I'm so grateful. And I just, I just can't, I needed to stretch the celebration out through the weekend. I know it's Holy Week and I know it's really crazy for some of y'all. So thank you for your time. Here's what I wrote at age 23 when we were recording this at Young Avenue Sound in Memphis, Tennessee. This album is a record of one time and place, one instant in one journey, and was recorded in no more than three days. Thus, it retains its scrapes, bumps, scars, and growing pains. Just like the rest of us, right? Know this before you listen. Be prepared to appreciate it as it is. If you can accept this work on its own terms, congratulations and welcome home. If not, don't waste your money and your time on me and my nest of songs. Get thee to the top 40 display at your local retailer and slurp up the slickness as you will. Whatever your choice, I wish you joy. And I do. <laughs> That's how snarky and uh, aware of how this was going to go. I was at 23, 24. And uh, I, I, really haven't, I really haven't lost most of that, fortunately. I am nervous to play some of these for y'all today, but I practiced as much as I could, I swear. So, that said, I am cheating and looking at the lyrics on my own band camp site on my iPad right now <laughs> while we're doing this. And even with the lyrics right in front of me yesterday, I still messed up. So that's how you know this is really live, as authentic as it can possibly be, right? Here, my loves, is track three from Haphazard, which you can listen to uh, on the streamy stream of your choice. You can listen to it here on YouTube. You can listen to it on my Bandcamp and order a download from me there or order a physical disc from me there if you still like music that you can hold and hug tight. And I get to ship it to you right from my house. Make sure you're... Uh, treating yourself today, whether that's tea or something something else nice and hot and lovely or nice and cold and lovely. Mm. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> Let's do this. And if y'all have any Q&A that you'd like to do, go ahead and put questions in the chat and I'll try to get to them as they scroll by. song is about Arthurian legend and guided meditation, Inanna and Ereshkigal, romance, all kinds of things. I woke up on a journey, the road ahead in my mind's eye. This lesson's universal and it's pretty hard to hide. The way it opened for me, like the drawbridge of a castle. Underneath the tragedy, I found the cave of crystal. Do not fear the traps you set years ago. Now seething to taste your blood. Knowledge will not go unless you're bold enough to peek inside. Follow in us footsteps down. To hell with the bumpy ride Follow me on us footsteps down We'll find what you need in the underground Follow me on us footsteps down We'll find what you need in the underground yeah. Oh hey, y'all mark your calendars, please April 30th, I get to be a guest at KateNix.tv for Moxie Fest. It's going to be a really cool online variety show hosted by one of the most lovely moth puppets I have ever had lunch with. And if you don't know Kate Nix's music, please, please look them up. Look Kate up. She is my Faye sibling. So what if the story takes you to where the river's dressed in black? The ferryman will know you by the reaper on your back. Some of you may have caught that I also stuck Greek mythology in there with that line. 
the way will open for you like the drawbridge of a castle wild times ahead before you find Berlin's cave of crystal weather on dragon wing fly oh, gust of an idea from the mind don't you look ahead for what you're hoping to find it's been inside you all along, child, burning inside you so many ways, burning brightly all these days, following on us footsteps downward, find what you need in the underground, follow the daughter's footsteps downward, find you a king in the underground, follow the lady's footsteps down what you see in the underground following on us footsteps down go into the green in the underground in the underground the they're trying to fall off and i'm not gonna let off yeah y'all sing along if you know this part or any part no. living in Memphis at age 22 or 23. Every song on Haphazard was written between 1994 and 2003. So a little bit of a range. That was the end of my teens, the, the mid, my mid-teens to my early 20s. You didn't think I could resist a costume change, did you? Hell no. <laughs> And I was I was just becoming I was just becoming who I was when I created the songs that were that ended up on this record. Oh, I'm reading the chat as fast as I can. Y'all are so kind. Thank you. I mean, I can't I can't be sad about anything because we're doing this today and just life is brilliant. And since uh, speaking of life being brilliant. Happy Trans Day of Visibility. I see y'all. <laughs> if it ever comes up, you can tell him Suji said trans rights. Because I am queer as hell up in here. <laughs> oh, there's a good song uh, coming up next for transformation. And of course, as I was practicing all these to prepare to do little free streams across the, so the socials for y'all. Mm. I, 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 found, I found myself thinking, why haven't I been playing this song all the time? Why haven't I been playing this other song all the time? Because they just, they feel so good. And for me, they have held up just fine. And so much of what I sang about then is still relevant to my heart and my spirit now. Let me know if the same is true for you, if it's relevant for your heart 
and your spirit too. I wrote this next one when I was 18 or 19 because it just, it hit me. Just the, the what if in my myth punkitude before we had the word myth punk to describe ourselves. What if Medusa and Rapunzel, um, first of all, heard of each other and second of all, maybe um, were in some kind of some kind of love triangle. <laughs> There's been erotica written about this song and I have read it. It's it's quite it's quite nice. <laughs> and that's why I clicked not made for kids before I started streaming to the YouTubes this afternoon. Which is not to say I'm not kid friendly because I totally am, but uh, yeah. It's uh I, I contain multitudes. Just like all y'all. Just like we all do, right? Yes. One more one more sip of tea. Oh. Mm. Roll up the sleeves. Let's get a little snaky in here, shall we? I've always loved Medusa. I've always been fascinated, fascinated by her and her story and her transformation uh, into a charm against harm for anyone who needed her. Ready? Ready? I don't know that I'm ready, but we're going to do it anyway. Two, three. I try to make a chord chart every month that didn't already exist for my top-level Patreon people. I think this might be the one I make into a chart for the Patreon goodies that I'm going to drop tomorrow. Mommy Medusa will rock us all down. She calls you from the shadows, never lets you in. You wander down to the garden, not knowing how to begin. Oh, you know she'll never let you go. So boy, no. But mommy Medusa will rock us all down. The tendrils hang my head, I hang my head down. Rapunzel dripped her tendrils over. Charming boy has left to wonder what the signal means. Tendrils hang my head, snakes kiss my head now. Yeah, I mentioned I've always loved Medusa. That's kind of why the uh, revised cover for this record from the second printing on had to be Nisha Chevalier's brilliant portrait of me as Medusa. I love it. I love it so much. A kiss from the snake bite awakens you there. Yeah. Curled up in shadow, paralyzed but aware. No pain of living, no sign of her. Old stone, you've gone. The chisels pierce your fur, affect your stare. But mommy, the do so will rock you all down. Well, mommy, Medusa will rock you all down. Stone boy wants to get me stone. Oh, concrete is heartbeat's home. Warm smoke rises in yellow eyes. His heart is hissing, and I am alone. Ricochet her off my shield. I scream from icy hero skin. Kissing light behind concrete lips, I flash my eyes at her and win. Oh, mommy, Medusa will rock us all down. The puzzles left a tentle tower, trailing snakes and dreams. Bare feet warm and growing scales, she makes Prince Charming screams. Yeah, mommy, Medusa will rock us all down. Mommy, Medusa, rock us all down. 
Yeah, so to me, in my head, uh, at the end of that um, disagreement, Rapunzel and Medusa kind of have a, whoa, wait a second, how you doing moment. And they either merge and become one figure. They join forces. They uh, take over the world and just myth punk it all out. Your mileage may vary, and I welcome that. I, am, I have no attachment to people hearing the same things in my songs that I hear myself. Whew, I'm going to try to do two more for y'all. There's I sing Follow Me Down a lot because it's the one that I'm proudest of that I wrote when I was super duper duper young. I wrote this song when I was 14, 15. But I also want to play Heartbeat for you before I am done, before I sign off. Oh yes, thank you. I, I, uh, we cannot forget Firebird's Child. That is a, that is a banger. If y'all have not heard the remix that uh, Deadbeat put out with me, with my blessing, it is it is also fire. So look for the Firebird's Child Deadbeat remix. <laughs> he did so good. He's another he's a, another pagan performer, a DJ uh, up in the Great Lakes area. Oh, speaking of other pagan performers, listen, y'all. Ginger Doss has dropped their pre-release EP of their concept record, Sacred Flow. It has seven tracks on it. You are not ready. They are so amazing. And I'm one of Ginger's biggest fans anyway. But this, this record is one of the only ones that I produced in the studio without Ginger as a mixing engineer, recording engineer for any part of it. This was because we had met but hadn't been working together yet. And uh, we've been like this ever since, pretty much, even when we couldn't work together. There's someone that I respect entirely and send my listening mixes to and beg their opinion and stuff like that. So gingerdoss.com, and it's on the store page. Do do check it out, especially if you roll um, with witchy geniuses the way that I tend to do. All right, decide which key this one wants to be in today. <laughs> sometimes, she, uh, sometimes she changes from one fret to another. I hope y'all have had a beautiful weekend so far. Somebody asked me what um, what, Moana, what one of my favorite songs was of mine, and it's, I have so many, y'all. I have so many song babies, right? And I was trying to think, because I knew somebody was going to ask me about um, the songs on Haphazard, and I'm like, I can't pick a favorite from, from this one either, because that's why I recorded them, because they were all my favorites. They were all the ones that I was so proud of and really wanted to share and wanted to get out in the world on a very limited budget. <laughs> Little tuning, because I care about y'all. And because the weather is doing stuff, <laughs> which makes guitars do stuff. That's why I have a tuner. All right, see how this goes. <coughs> This is about hanging out on my mom's roof and watching the leaves fall. And being in the very beginning of my spiritual search as a very, very young person. Old me for writing a, a guitar part that still kicks my ass to this day. <laughs> Thank you, Tori. That's 
so sweet. Of course that's your favorite. As she fades into the gray of the Saturday rain I'm a war zone If you lose me, you can find me I'll be dancing down the shingles My rooftop's always free from prying eyes And the leaves will collect your little white lies, my friends So follow me down the river with no shame follow me down y'all can see my uh, my treasures dancing in the wind over my head <laughs> it's cloudy outside it's not um, doing any big weather yet but it sure smells like rain bit of specters back on let it rain Why don't you turn We're a traveler Why don't you fly Why don't you fall Brown and yellow leaves are all They coast down dreamy breezes And tremble in the dancing As much as we Oh It's a so terrible turning journey of a death wish down, down, down. And then along the river's path we follow, begging rain kids with no to go, let it follow, let it follow, follow me down, follow me down, follow me down. Tune and play one more. I wrote this one in June 2003. It's 23 years old. Really, really, really wanted to get out on my own and do my music full time. So it's an emotional one. 
And a lot of it, uh, like I said earlier, so much of this stuff still rings true. <laughs> it kind of blew my mind when I was practicing for this. Super Ray W, I wish you well, sweetheart. Uh, I don't know if you know that I can read what you're saying. <laughs> But you don't seem to care, and that's okay. Criticism is always welcome if it's given with respect. And it's clear that you love my work, so love you too. You don't have to love it all the time. It's unfortunate that you think I sound terrible today. <laughs> Thank you, Phobophilia. I hope I'm pronouncing that properly. Would you believe I got an email from the, uh, the Lewis Carroll Society of North America the other day asking me if I want to discuss um, Cheshire Kitten at their conference online <laughs> at the end of this month? I'm going to write them back and say, yes, I would be honored. Oh, you guys, I'm sorry. The audio is weird. You know, it could be me. Shit happens. But those of you who are enjoying this, I'm glad. Thank you, Keller. Keller Kangaroo. Okay, now. <laughs> My nerves may get the better of me and make me sound a little obviously anxious when I sing this one, because this, this is the one I'm the most nervous to sing for y'all today. But I'm going to do it anyway. Oof. This was all about going to going and being in festival space for several days. The first festival of any size that I went to in the pagan world, um, RIP Heartland Pagan Festival, outside of Tonganoxie, Kansas. And I saw a band called Dream Tribe. which was the new name of a band, <laughs> members of which had been in something called Velvet Hammer. And both of those bands and all of their members and all of their work kicked my ass and showed me how to stand up and be myself musically as a female presenting person. And as a person who wanted to sing about mythology and all the myth punk stuff Blue Lida, thank you. Welcome, welcome. Germany is in the chat. Splendid. And I came home and I wrote this and I got to sing it to them two years later when we were hanging out after we had both, after we had all headlined a festival in Florida together. And that was the day that we became friends. So if you've made something that it's someone else inspired, consider choosing courage and showing them, even if you're terrified to do it, because we have been buddies ever since. And uh, I would love it if you all, if you could, uh, the drummer for our Dream Tribe, and uh, lately the Velvet Hammer reunion, our buddy Tabber Millard has a medical GoFundMe going right now, because he spent five days in intensive care and is a musician with no health insurance. Hi, been there. So look up Taber Millard, T-A-B-B-E-R-M-I-L-L-A-R-D on the GoFundMe and throw him a buck or two if you can. I appreciate it. He is world class and one of the sweetest people I know. And his mama's my bass player, so please, please and thank you. And uh, if anybody gets that link, feel free to put it in the comments in the chat while you're watching. He's fine. He's going to be fine. Just those bills are, ouch, <laughs> Merka. 
quit stalling and sing this, and then I'm going to have to sign off before um, my son gets home from his grandparents' house. But thank you all. And if you want to come to sjtucker.bandcamp.com tomorrow night and have a listening party through haphazard every single note from start to finish and be in the chat with me, we're going to be doing that uh, at 7 p.m. Central Time on Bandcamp always welcome. You're always welcome. Come back and watch this over and over. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll try to be more active on here as the rest of the year goes on. I've got tons of shows coming up. Yes, really uh, sufficiently enough shows to make me happy for the first time this decade because this decade, these roaring 20s 2.0, I don't have to tell you. You know, you know. Dance Storm, okay. One question before you go. Who got you into playing guitar in the first place? Family favorite artist, just a cool song. I, uh, the first photo of me with a guitar, I am two years old and I am pouncing on my mother's nylon string guitar on the couch in 1982. My parents and my immediate family were all musical. They all love to sing. They all love to do community theater. I got into choir when I was very, very small. Um, my father was a high school band director and a junior high band director before he retired. So anytime I wanted to learn an instrument, nobody ever told me no. I had been a piano student for six years. By the time I made up my mind, the summer that I was 12, that I really wanted to learn guitar. And really, I think you can blame the Beatles more than anybody else, because I got Beatlemania in the womb. And I can remember a time probably in the third or fourth grade playing on the playground with my friends and they were all saying things like, well, I'm going to marry a doctor. I'm going to marry a, I'm going to marry a dentist. I'm going to marry a rock star. And I was like, hold up, hold, hold up. I don't want to marry the rock star. I mean, that would be awesome, but I would much rather be the rock star. So for real. All that build up. <laughs> Thank you all, and I'll be thinking about you because you're the reason I've gotten to do this for 20 years. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is Heartbeat. Keep it up. Don't worry, I will keep this posted so you can come watch it later. Come back, listen in the twilight time, speak in incantory ways. Bring your drum down to the fire and watch the surface change.
spiral take you will be with you when you day yeah bring your heart for drumming and journey on and risk You can tell it's live. It's really live. There it is. Okay. Yeah. See the magic embers fly. Missing in the twilight time. Continues and the end must quell your fear. Unleashed above the spiral, go. and when the questing bard inside you speaks, you know, you know. Oh. oh, oh. Heartland, Heartland 2003 changed my life and made me make up my mind to go for this. I sang at the talent show there that week. And they hired me on the spot to perform on the main stage in 2004. Improper times, I am lured by rushing water from another room. Some tingling all along my bones, I'm soaring in my mind, fearing more my capture than my doom. I am waiting for my lightning, which would prefer just not to wait. Let me ride a train into it and come down some other day. I cannot stay, I cannot stay, I cannot. Stay. Something missing here, walking like full moon prayer, but the circle go. Make your own way, lightning will strike for you as many times as it has to.
Send my D Ray in the chat. For real. I love you, Internet fam. Gonna be hitting the road really soon. Got a whole bunch of shows in Tennessee and North Carolina coming up. east of the Mississippi and into the Smokies. sjtucker.com slash tour has all the details. I also post as much as I can on Songkick and so you can see my, um, my upcoming shows on my Bandcamp page right there on the front too. Zenbard, I wish West Coast I miss the Northwest more than I can properly put into words. I did get to bring the band to California last summer. Or no, no, it was last October, my bad. It felt like summer because we were having such a good time. <laughs> Dale, thanks. Yes, here's to another 20 years. Cheers. Y'all come to the band camp listening party tomorrow night if you like. Yes, Kat, I am going to see the eclipse, uh, whether I like it or not, because we are ground zero here in uh, northwest central Arkansas, where I stand. There's also a 30% chance of rain right now that day. The gods are laughing at us. All we got to do is laugh back. Thank you all for spending some time with me today. I wish I could come to Europe anytime soon. Gotta have a paying gig to come over there. Gotta have a festival that will hire me and at least meet me halfway for the travel costs. Thank you for asking. I will do some more streaming soon at online concert thing and do a full ticketed show that y'all can come to. Perhaps with uh, a co-star. And I'll be in Missouri in June. Be back in Ohio in July see what else unfolds. Thank you all for helping me celebrate. Thank you for being part of this now 20 plus year journey. <sighs> I will leave this posted so you can watch it again if you like. And if there were sound problems, I, I truly apologize. It was out of my hands, but when I do my next online concert thing show, I will make sure that there is fancier audio than what you're getting from my phone through YouTube, okay? Okay, promise. Happy Easter, happy Trans Day of Visibility. Uh, blessed Ostara. What did I forget? Happy Sunday. Uh, happy Eclipse Day when that comes. Love you to bits. I'm going to sign off before I <laughs> embarrass myself here. Suge, my mom raised me on your music. She owns the old album with the old cover. Oh, my God. And these days it's gotten me through so much from a trans gay witchy dude. Baby doll. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that with us. Bless you for being you. Bless you all for being you. And watching me be me. I appreciate it. Okay. Here I go. I can figure out how to sign off here. Okay. Ah! <laughs>